Good morning! So, let's get into it. Today I'm gonna talk to you a little bit about Kotlin and Java. And basically Kotlin is the new kid on the block and Java has been around since well, we wrote code on stone tablets I suppose. And virtually I, what I wanted to talk to you about is my experiences working with both these two languages. And so let's start off by talking a little bit about what I like about each language. So first off is Java. Like what I like about Java is, well, if you watched any of my other versus something videos and Java is involved, I usually say that I like the stability of Java, which is absolutely true. I love that. I love the simplicity of the language. It's very, like, if you're an object-oriented person, this, is, this should be your go-to language. And I love how explicit it is about types and stuff like that. And I like the fact that, you know, once it's up and you have everything set up for yourself, it's very easy to, like, add value to the project because most of the time, a lot of the stuff that, like, in, I don't know, it's just... Java is a very simple language, and that's not a bad thing, it's actually a really good thing. It's, uh, it has its limitations, absolutely, but for the most part it does everything you need, it basically you need. The only really, I, I would say, like, as a, for, from a developer's perspective, if you are... No, like, some people will tell you that Java is slow and that, you know, yada, 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 performance, performance, performance. And I, like, I try to tell people, like, I, or rather, if somebody gives you that, uh, try to ask them a little bit about what they mean about performance and the importance of performance and all that stuff. Because odds are that they simply are regurgitating something they read in some article about from some blogger or something. And they don't actually, they haven't actually checked their facts because... Trust me, like, it's so rare that performance is even an issue. And for the most part, Java is actually outperforming a lot of different languages. So you just ask them, okay, what do you mean by performance? Because odds are that even if they write things, like, if, unless there are, like, they are, like, very good at what they do, odds are that they won't even be able to write C code that is faster, you know, larger programs that are faster than what's running on the JVM. So... That's about Java. Now let's look at Kotlin. So Kotlin is a fairly new language, which has more or less, like you most, most likely have heard about it. It's become the poster child for Android development. It's, the, for, it's basically the new popular flavor of Java. You used to have, you know, you have Scala and Groovy and so forth. And basically my experiences with Kotlin is absolutely amazing. I, I, I absolutely love it. I absolutely love it. It has some of my absolute favorite things like optionals and having named parameters, having first class lem like closures and all that good stuff so that you can do a little bit of pragmatic functional programming, if you will. And it has actually, it, I don't know, it, it has, uh, it's more of a mix between the best practices, like the absolute best things I find in object-oriented programming and functional program programming at the same time. It's kind of like, I'm not going to say that JavaScript is the best mix of the, these two, but I, JavaScript has, uh, it's the same thing. It has a very healthy mix between the two. Swift is the same way, like Kotlin and Swift are probably my two, right now, two favorite typed languages. If I could, I would just work in those languages, languages exclusively for the most part. Unless, of course, somebody goes really crazy here in Gothenburg and I can work in Go, which would be pretty awesome too. But Kotlin has these things and it has one of the strongest like organizations when it comes to development behind them, uh, behind it. And apart from that, it you know it's since it's basically I, I'm not saying that Java has lost its lost its place when it comes to Android development, but Kotlin is I, I get the sensation that we're transitioning into Kotlin when it comes to like it's basically what I see happening between Swift and Objective C. Where Objective C was the thing that you were doing things in, and now you're supposed to you're very encouraged rather to do it in Swift. And I think it's the same thing for Java and Kotlin. And see, the thing is, if I had to compare these two languages, I would say that since Kotlin is supposed to be interchangeable with Java, and the Java has, like, there's, 
nothing that you can't do in or rather you're supposed to be able to do everything you can in Java in Kotlin I don't see a reason why you wouldn't use Kotlin because the language brings things to the table that I personally have been lacking in Java for a long time a few and these are minor things but they make such a big difference at least to me they make a big difference like optionals is one of my absolute favorite features it's like the best thing ever I love it I love it with a passion and then you have like uh, you know, having first-class citizens when it comes to closures and you have name parameters. Like, these are tiny, tiny things, but they make such a big difference. And apart from that, they have structures such as objects and so forth. There are these tiny little subtle things that the language brings to the table that makes, a, at least to me, a great deal of difference. And the thing is with Java, even when they started selling the idea that, hey, we're going to be first, like, we're going to start doing that as well, they did it in a very Java ish way where you know if you wanted to declare a you know giving a function a closure is basically almost the exact same thing as declaring an inline implementation of an interface you know how you would declare a runnable in java it's uh, how do i put it it's i got the sensation i've always gotten that sensation since java 8 that like <sighs> oracle didn't really do it like they they added it but it felt added in it felt like we added it in we shoot that, that the functional aspects were shoehorned in in order to just have it it felt like you added it in just so that you could say that hey you can do this in java too and kotlin did it in my opinion right they did it really really well like it feels i feel that there's a there's a love for 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 the language same thing in Swift, like I could feel like they could have done it in any any weird way that was really Objective C like, but the implementation of Swift really shows, at least to me, shows the love that the developing team behind these languages have shown to the language. They've really thought it through and really tried to make it a good language. And I think that's what Kotlin has done. I think that it's like, uh, I'm not saying that Java is bad, I'm rather saying that Kotlin to me is the next iteration of Java. I feel that, Kotlin, to me, Kotlin is the next level of Java. It's the thing that should take over because it has, in my opinion, more expressiveness, more power. It's a nice development experience overall. So basically, when would I choose one over the other? I would say that if you have a really large Java project, which odds are, I mean, even my, tutor, my tutors at the university, most of them have spent their entire career as Java developers. And, you know, they, what usually happens is that it's very rare that you come, you know, you start a fresh Java project. That's not the case. Usually you come to a really large company or a really large organization that has a code base. If that is the case, I would wait a little bit. I wouldn't say, hey, let's migrate over to Kotlin. I would stick with Java for now until maybe there's a nice way of making a migration. But if you're starting fresh today, please choose Kotlin. It is a really great language, and I think you will have a lot of fun with it. Because, you know, trust me, I have had a lot of fun with it.